Hello friend, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Natalie Adele, and this is a potent practice. Now, most of our potent practices are very energizing and uplifting, right? And the whole reason I titled them potent is because you're being efficient with your time and your energy. And we can also be potent in a relaxing way, right? Efficient with our time and energy as we really start to wind down. So I've created this flow because it's something I've been doing in the morning, especially if I'm on my moon cycle. I don't wanna be doing like rigorous energizing practices and cold showers. I wanna find a slice of sunshine and do this practice. So I'm gonna share that with you today. You can do it at the beginning of the day, like I said, in a slice of sunshine or right before you go to bed. So as we're getting started here, I'm inviting you to set up some sacred space for yourself. I always like to light a candle. Yes, you can light candles in the daytime. It doesn't have to be nighttime. What that does is it just allows us to be a little bit more ritualistic and sets a beginning and an end. I'm also using our Holy Smokes kit. I'm gonna choose Palo Santo for today's practice, but you can choose between that and Sage from our Holy Smokes kit. So now we've got our candle lit. We've got the grounding earth element of Palo Santo. I'm gonna do a few sprays of our sacred space spray just to get my skin and the rest of my senses involved. Spraying along the heart space, over the head, the top of the head to clear all the energy from our dreams or from the day. And then lastly, it wouldn't be a relaxing class without the I am here oil. We're not gonna be doing anything on our hands today, so go really heavy with the oil, be really generous with the oil, and just give yourself a little bit of a massage here. <sighs> Rubbing the wrist, the palms of the hand, stretching the wrists, rubbing all the way down the forearms into the armpits, maybe across the chest, down the neck. <sighs> okay, let's begin. So we're starting we're basically gonna be doing the same position with our props the whole time, keeping it really effortless. Bolster is on top of two blocks on an incline. And then take your blanket either underneath your body or over your body for a little bit more of a cozy factor. And when you're ready, we'll all meet against the bolster. Bolster is against my low back. I'm gonna start with the soles of the feet on the ground and I'm holding onto the bolster and I'm slowly gonna come down onto my back, making sure my shoulder blades aren't pinching behind me. And then I'm gonna rest the head on the ground, or sorry, on the bolster. Removing the shoulder blades away from the ears, away from each other. And then let the arms just open up here. And again, I love doing this in the morning in a slice of sunshine can stay here, or you can find butterfly pose. If butterfly pose at this moment is a little too intense for you, then bring a block on either side of the knees. And close the eyes. Maybe you gently rock your head from one side to the next. and send the breath low into the belly. If you're feeling very anxious today, meaning the breath gets stuck right around the collarbones, maybe you place the hands on the body and you receive the breath into the palms. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let your body land. No need to hold yourself up. Let the earth receive you. Legs held completely by the ground. Let your seat land heavily on the floor below. Your upper back 
shoulders and the head releasing into the bolster. The ground will carry you. The ground longs to carry you. So your breath can fill you. Let your breath arrive in your body. Let your breath flow freely. Let your breath be received by a soft belly. Let your breath gently find any clinching or barriers. Let your breath soften any tension it meets. <sighs> nothing to resist, nothing to do. Your breath will soften you. Your breath will care for you. Relax with all that rises and falls. Relax more. Relax and receive your breath. Let the waves of your breath rise and fall. Belly rising and falling with the breath. Liquid belly. Let everything rise and fall on its own. Relax and listen. What do you need to know right now? Take a deep breath in and an audible sigh out. <sighs> if you're in butterfly pose, go ahead and bring your hands to the outer knees, gently release the butterfly pose. And maybe you take a little windshield wiper from side to side. We're all going to meet with the hands interlaced behind the neck and then extend your legs out all the way. Maybe the feet are close together, or maybe you take a wider stance and let the heels come off the edges of the mat and totally relax the feet. Maybe even just shimmy out the legs for a moment. I want you to totally relax everything. Let the back of your head be heavier into your palms. Notice if there's an arch in the lower back, let it be. Relax the right glute and the left glute. Let the right heel be heavier, left heel heavier. Soften the whole front of the body. Find some space, more space, between your chin and your chest. If it's the beginning of the day, can you connect to the strong energy of the sun? Can you feel the sun on your skin and your bones? And if it's nighttime, can you connect to the stillness of night and the moon and the stars? Lift your head, inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the arms down by your side. Soles of the feet come to the ground. Gently lift up to seated. And we're just gonna take a little gentle twist here. The bolster stays exactly as it is. My right hip comes right up to the bolster. I'm gonna take a twist here. So my collarbones are facing the back of the room. My legs are relaxed and bent. You can always place a blanket in between the knees. Inhale. And press the belly button, the sternum, and the collarbones against the bolster on the exhale. You can look over to the left, or for a deeper stretch, look over to the right. The arms, I like to bring them underneath here and just wrap the bolster up. 
The real important part here is to soften the belly. Let the belly be soft. Let the belly just relax. We carry a lot of tension in our bellies. For those of you who perhaps find this twist to be a little bit too intense, no problem. Same setup, right hip, and you can just come down on the side of the bolster. Really nice stretch as well. Again, belly soft. Allow the eyes to close. Staying here for a few breaths. Let every part of you that is in contact with the bolster and the ground, let it be heavier. Lean into your props a little bit more. To come out of this pose, you're going to release the opposite way you went in. So if you're twisting, inhale, lift the chest. Stay here for the exhale. And then very slowly come back to facing the front of the room. And just take a little seated embryo, whoo, just to open up the back of the spine. So wrapping the arms either in front or behind the thighs. Relax the shoulders. And then we're gonna take the same pose on the other side of the body. So no need to look here, just take the same pose on the other side of the body, left hip comes up. And again, if you're taking your twist, start with collarbones back, inhaling, and then slowly finding your pose, or perhaps you take a lateral stretch down. Again, the gaze can be over to the right or over to the left. I like to give the bolster a big hug. A lot of times I find in restorative yoga poses that energetically we're sort of hovering above the pose. It's so subtle. It's so subtle. But can we take a deep breath in and stop hovering and fully lean in and relax on the breath out? The key to sort of relearning things, remembering how to be soft, remembering how to flow with the currents of life, remembering what it feels like to release the need to control everything. It all comes down to relaxation. And it's from a place of deep relaxation that we really can be successful, that we don't have to go mode through everything. We can just flow. So this little pocket of peace in this practice is just that, right? It's, it's, it's a practice in relaxing. This is something we have to dedicate and commit time to because then we forget and then we remember, and then we forget. Make sure your thighs are really relaxed. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. Maybe hold it at the top. And let it go. And gently rewind out of the pose the opposite way you went in. Go ahead and face the front of your mat. 
and extend the legs out in front of you. You can always take a little micro bend in the knees. We're gonna be taking a forward fold. Another option if your hamstrings are really tight is to fold up your blanket out like I'm doing here and bring it underneath the, behind the knees just to give your uh, hamstrings a little respite. Go ahead and move any flesh out from under the sit bone. Grab the bolster that's behind you and place it lengthwise right on the lower body. I like to keep a block handy for this one because my back body is very tight. So option one, relax the feet. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, drape over the bolster. So a couple options here. The hands can sort of grab the bottom of the bolster in an embrace. Sometimes I like to actually give the bolster a hug. Sometimes it's nice to overlap forearms and let the head drop. So the head, forehead, doesn't have to touch anything. For me, I have a very tight back. So in order for me to fully relax, I need to have that support. But I just rest my forehead on a block on either setting. And that's my pose for me. If you're finding that even this forward fold is like way too much for you today, simply bring the hands, elbows, onto the bolster and cup your head here. Okay. Another option is to cover the eyes, not in despair, but in inward energy. Let the belly relax. Drop your shoulders. Find space between your top and bottom row of teeth. Allow the tongue to release from the roof of the mouth. Notice if you've shallowed out the breath here, we tend to in our forward fold because there's compression in the front of the body. But notice, feel, bring awareness to the back body. Shoulder blades open, lower back finds freedom, kidneys can breathe, and breathe into and from that space. Noticing the opening in every vertebrae. Take three more breaths here. <sighs> Slowly come up. Chin stays to the chest. Chin comes up last on your inhale. Roll out the shoulders. Roll out the neck. Go ahead and place your bolster exactly where it was before. You can have one or two blocks. I'm gonna go back to two. So not a lot of movement in this practice, right? Really effort free. We'll just do a quick seated twist here. Coming into easy seat, inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, twist over to the right. So this is not a vinyasa class, right? So we're not cranking out the twist. It's so subtle. Way less than you would typically do. Open the collarbones, gently look over that back shoulder. Take a breath in. And a sigh out. <sighs> Inhale, brings you back to center. And exhale over to the left. Relax the thighs. Notice if your thighs are all engaged here. Breath in. Sigh out. <sighs> Inhale, brings you back to center. And exhale back to the heart. We're going to set up for a reclined Shavasana. I'm going to do a few more sprays of the sacred space spray here because we've shifted energy, 
right? We do this sacred space spray before class to clear the energy we're bringing into our practice. And then we either smudge or use sacred space spray at the end to clear what's been rustled up during our practice. So a few sprays of that. Keep your blanket right where it is. Feel free to grab another one to place on top of you. Scooch all the way up to the bolster. So bolster is in contact with my legs. Scooch up here. Sometimes I like to take a blanket and really tuck it in tightly here so my legs are really tucked in nicely. And then slowly come onto your back. Release the shoulders. Let the heels and the ankles hang. Arms down by your side. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Hmm. Inviting you to stay in the Shavasana for as long as you want. Maybe you even turn on our soft landing yoga nidra here for a really extended Shavasana. Hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> 